Welcome back everyone, this is Dark Science from Dark Science Reviews, coming at you with another tips, hints, achievements, walkthrough guide. Uh, we're going to be playing Inferno 2 and hopefully getting all the achievements over the course. I'm going to go do a full walkthrough because I see a lot of people are just kind of cutting off and everything. Uh, it could be a little confusing. Uh, so. We'll get to that. Uh, Inferno 2 is an easy completion game. So if you're looking for something up that alley to get some easy achievements, this is definitely up your uh, field of purchasing. Uh, it is currently available in the Xbox Live Marketplace for anybody and all if they want to check it out for themselves. Uh, it's by developers 2 Awesome Studio and Radiant Games. So, I try to get this up earlier. Uh, there is a tracker, but it's not like your normal tracker. It's not an achievement tracker that you'll see on the side of your achievements. Uh, first thing we're going to do is run off the achievements. Uh, there's going to be a couple that you're going to have to save money up for. I'll tell you that right now, right out the gate. Uh, one for getting 10,000 gold which is going to take some time and then there's one secret level which we'll actually get to somewhere around level 7 there's an actual like secret area you can cut off and get the secret level done uh, there is missile shots that you're going to have to actually do too you're going to have to max out uh, one upgrade of a certain kind you're going to have to save up a lot of money and stuff in order to get those upgrades done it's not a very hard game and from what I've noticed thus far when it comes to XP you only get the XP that pops up on screen so it could, it's gonna take a little bit uh, to get there uh, destroying a thousand enemies at first I thought that you can actually just kind of like stay there and keep killing enemies but you actually have to kill the enemy that the little enemies are coming out of so if that was an idea that's out the window too you'll eventually get it uh, there's another one for reach a thousand XP and you'll probably get that around a thousand enemies too maybe a little bit before uh, you do have to die five times so unfortunately somewhere throughout the game hopefully you get the five deaths before the 20 levels uh, one of the main achievements is to get up to level 20 and another achievement that we need to like really keep our eyes on is the shielded enemies and we'll get to that as we go uh, this is where you check your achievement progress right here it'll have like a whole setup as to where you're at with the game uh, how many upgrades how many enhancements basically this is your your achievement screen uh, the normal tracker won't work on the achievements themselves but this is the achievement screen that you want to back out to the main menu uh, whenever you get a chance or whenever you're like wondering where you're at or when you're about to pop something this is where you find it so we're gonna start up in the game uh, I would set it to the easiest difficulty which is just warp uh, you don't need to go volcanic or anything like that unless you really really want to try hard on to uh, making the game a little bit longer but it's a, it should be about 40 minutes around the bout and I'm just gonna kind of start a new game and a new file so this way I don't have to worry about some of it um, repopping <clears throat> uh, I like to go with the spread keep keep in mind that it doesn't really matter what gun you upgrade or go with you can upgrade whatever one you want whichever one you like the most but I like the spread and I would highly recommend that you go with the spread but if you're better with the Vulcan, the Swarm, Reflex, or whatever other guns that they give you throughout the game, you're welcome to uh, upgrade those. But here's the one thing I will say before you pick one, make sure you pick one and you stick to the upgrades because that's what you're going to need to do. So I'm going to fully max out the spread. Uh, this is one of those games where you just go around collecting everything. The info will give you little tips and hints. It's a twin stick shooter, kind of. So, those little things right there are the one thing that gives you the main, uh... The main XP. All these little enemies won't be giving you too, too much, so... Just kind of aim for the main one. You should be good. Pretty 
easy to dodge, pick up everything you possibly see on the map. Okay, so I got a new weapon here, uh, which is going to be the missile. You got the flak, the creeper, the phantom, and the seeker. Uh, personally, I would go with the seeker, but the flak might actually be really good, which would be kind of like a shotgun blast. So you kind of want like a mixture. It all it all depends on what you're into. I'm gonna go with the seeker. So you hold down right trigger to send off the missiles. Make sure to um, kill as many missiles as you as you possibly can, because the shielded enemies are the ones that are gonna really be needed to taken out. And I don't know. Uh, I think they show up a little bit later. Notice the spread has quite a bit of distance there. Just collect everything, basically. Seven is the next one. I'll, I'll, I'll read off the achievements as I pop them. Give you kind of like a rough draft of when you're supposed to be popping them. Okay. So another gun is unlocked. You can switch your guns, I believe, as you get them, but stick to one if possible. Okay, so level 3 now. I believe 20 is uh, the main area you gotta get up to. Really, uh, it's not a really hard game. I would say it's pretty easy. It's a little twin stick shooter too, so that's pretty cool. The gun. Switch with the LB. with your uh worry too much about your missiles as you get uh restocks whenever they drop them I 
got the first count gold achievement there, which is uh, 10,000. It's about a uh, gold already. This is going to be the shop down here. Uh, I believe the shop is down here into the left. Yeah, the top left is the shop. Uh, what you want to do is... The missile ammo you, you should wait on uh, because you get a lot throughout the stage. But this is like if you need help with some of the areas, you could use a little bit here. But I would I don't think it's going to be too hard on easy. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, I'm going to save up my level ups because it's kind of better to do that. That's so why you don't waste any points where you don't need them. here and there. Kind of a basic set list too. Shop again right there. But yeah, I, I wouldn't worry too much about the shop either. achievement out of the 15 I believe in total so we're, we're working our way through it Those enemies might be the ones with the shields, so keep that in mind. Okay, power unlocked. Some areas you gotta work your way through a little bit. Little info tabs will tell you a little bit more. Like the wall right here is kind of like a secret area. Switch uh, weapons, like I said. Okay, core destroyer. Okay, 
Okay, so here's the level up. You push start to level up. So whenever you're going to level something up, make sure you keep it on the spread. Uh, since that's what I like uh, or whatever gun you choose basically you got to max it out So I'm gonna increase the shot And put all my points into it basically and once you max out one Once you max out one you should pop that achievement and you can put your points wherever basically there's another achievement there count crates destroy 10 orbs 10 item orbs doing pretty good haven't died yet you might have to force die at some point if you do too good Got another level up there Let's see if I can level up the spread can't level up the spread yet Cost five points, so I need five more points to stock up. Okay, so let's swap out my weapons. So level six, it's getting close to um uh, I think I'm gonna go with a little bit more uh drones or actually missiles. Missiles is another thing that you have to max out, so keep that in mind. Another achievement there. Fire missile. Fire 500 missile shots. Some of it's accumulative. LB and RB. Basically, LB and RB switch your guns and your missiles. level I gotta look out for because uh, 
on level 7, I think, is the first secret area that I know of. There's probably a lot more to keep your eyes out for, but 7 is the one we're going to go for. Got another achievement there to destroy a, a thousand enemies. We should have it at about this point as well. So level seven, that's the that's the exit right there, but you're gonna wanna go the opposite way once you get the key. Got another achievement there for the XP. Reach a thousand XP. I think those might be the shielded enemies. But Keep uh, shooting the ones you gotta shoot. Basically, like, use your missiles on the, the bigger enemies that look shielded, I would say, is your best bet. Secret level is actually really useful too because the exit's on this side, but you want to go the opposite way. See over here is a bonus level right here. Um, obviously, you can go through other areas to get the rest of the stuff, but we're just going to go to the bonus level and this will be uh, an extra achievement pop. Basically, uh, when you get your next key, you need to head down here. Keep that in mind that that wall is not... is not solid. reason why you need to save your key up because you gotta unlock this part there's only one way you can exit so you gotta choose and the bonus is the area we're gonna choose it should be an achievement and this one all you do is collect the upgrades as fast as you can so collect everything Achievement, level secret.
if you so happen to miss some of the missile kills on some of the shielded enemies, I believe 22 to 24 might be the level uh, that you can get it up to. After that, you have to go way up there in levels. Well, hopefully not. Get them all. Focus hard on them like me. There is certain areas that look like they're locked, so keep an eye on that. But they're really not. I'm using those missiles on those enemies now. the spread one more time nope still no, not enough points so I need one more level for the spread so the exit's ready for that okay so just about halfway done with the game almost That was a survival level. 
finally made it to chapter two. Uh, I think there's ten more levels left, so halfway done. And so far, by the time you reach chapter two, you should be at 400 out of a thousand achievements. Um, I haven't died once, so you're gonna have to force that towards the end. Keep that in mind. You might have to keep forcing death. stronger upgrade of the the other enemies I guess Missiles can destroy some walls. Alright, so we're gonna get our next achievement now since I have six points saved up. Max out the spread. And that should be another achievement. Yep, that's an achievement pop right there. Max upgrade for weapon. And then the next thing we're gonna work on is max out all missile ammo. Uh, there's a there's a final one at the end, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so focus on one when it comes to the missile. That one costs three points to upgrade to 100 capacity. Is 
does get a little tougher around these levels, so definitely watch a little bit more. Use your missiles a little bit more uh, when you need them. bonus level right here if you choose to do it. I, th I think you only need to really do one, but if you want to get more, uh, it's totally up to you. for that one.
the levels are progressively getting crazier. Worst case scenario, you keep playing just a little tiny bit more, getting upgrades and uh, level ups and stuff. You're good to go. At 42 minutes. Ooh. I'm taking my time a little bit because it's getting a little harsher. You don't have to play as cautious as me. Kind of rush in, do whatever you want. Play a little more cautious when it comes to shooters. For that level, uh, I'm gonna upgrade now. See if I can uh, get some of it done. Maxed out that missile. So a couple more levels to go to max out all missiles. achievement for double enhancement to the missiles so that's two enhancements done we're really starting to demolish them now
end here. levels uh a little bit trickier Shielded enemies pop. 
very, very soon here. So I don't have to stress too much on uh, having to go past the levels that I need. got the 25 shielded enemies right there you should have it so anything with the shield make sure to bust it open um, I got it way before 20 so that's a good thing okay so So we got the uh, upgrade every missile simultaneously. So that's another one done. We're at 650 and then max out all missile ammo is another one. Still have to die. Upgrade every weapon simultaneously is another one. So we're going to upgrade one of every weapon. Uh, when I get the chance, I got three more levels to go. I may have messed up on uh, one of the missiles, but I should be good here. I don't think it's going to be too much of a hassle. It's another shielded enemy. In case you're missing some, you might get it on this level. should be the achievement there for that okay so at about this point I gotta start focusing on upgrading one of everything for the weapons as well and uh, since I have enough for the other stuff let me see add 50 XP for every Currency Let's max out the missile ammo. I believe there's one for maxing out the missile ammo. Let's see, max out missile ammo. So at about this point, go into the store. And there you go. That should be an achievement too. That's maxing out all missile ammo. Uh, use a power five times is another achievement that I that kind of eluded me and then upgrade every weapon simultaneously you might need to do a couple more levels uh, give or take but we're just about done here just buy all the currency right here that's a level up right there and I'm going to upgrade another weapon Since upgrade one so keep that in mind uh, another weapon will be the reflex and I'm just about done here I need to die still five times so that's probably what you need at this point too 
Give or take, you just gotta do a couple more levels. Electro is used right now, so we're gonna use that five times. I did it before, it's like LTRT, I believe. Charge up the electro now, and hopefully it'll recharge. So I can do that five times, and I'm gonna keep playing till I get that last upgrade for the weapons. Should be just about done. Uh, yeah, last. So about an hour around, uh, around about a uh, little bit. Quicker. If you're quicker than me, obviously, if you rush levels, you can get that done too a little earlier. Get three more achievements to go. I even go to the achievement screen after so that you guys can see uh, that it's all completed. It's another level. That should be it for the upgrade. charge for the electro that I need to do is the reflex and that should be the next achievement and now I really do need to die uh, and at this point I believe we're just about we're just about done aside from using up the electro a couple times Like I said, give or take, it'll have to be a couple levels. You could have it done a little bit earlier. At this point, you probably just need to die. So just kill yourself uh, if you used up the, uh, the Electro earlier or the power-up that you had. You don't have to worry. So you don't need to worry about dying. And everything else after you die five times should basically uh, be for fun. Now I'm gonna go force my death. One death. really need to stream to death obviously I could have probably got that off stream but said that I keep in mind same thing goes for the electro 
I could do that on my own time. Uh, at this point, you're done with the game, basically. But I'll make sure that we got the full thousand before I cut off. It's all about kills. Electro again. Five electros to basically power up. 75 G's for that. I'm glad it comes up on the screen as well. And now I need to do is die. I think one more death, hopefully. It's just gonna take a while to die. So, 64 minutes, I apologize for a little bit longer of a stream, but that's around about how long it's going to take you. Uh, a little bit less if you die early or you die in any of the other levels. Uh, I recommend kind of like not rushing into some areas, but about this time you should have every single achievement. If you don't, just keep pushing forward, do another level or two, and you should have the XP to get all the missiles and or whatever else you need to get. We're going to go to the main menu and activate the achievements here. And as you can see, all of them say done. Um, the orbs, I overdid that one. This to get die five times is the achievement. Uh, the thousand XP is already well past the thousand and six thousand. That's the achievement. Some of them that say done, you know for sure done. Uh, the numbers are well past the threshold that you need to be. At this point, this is kind of what it should look like when you're fully 100% done with the game. Anyhow, uh, that was a full playthrough, walkthrough, tips, hints, achievement guide for Inferno 2 Plus. It is currently available in the Xbox Live Marketplace. This, if this is the kind of easy completion you're looking for, uh, it should be available for you to procure your own copy. Uh, Inferno 2 Plus is by developers to Awesome Studio and Radiant Games. Once again, thank you all for watching and happy gaming everyone.